Hello, I'm Mr. Goddard, and in this video we're going to be talking about a basic line follower using a Robot Inventor or Spike Prime Kit. Uh, this is the Robot Inventor uh, following the line, and in case you just want to get straight to it, we'll go over here and look at the code. So I'm going to stop it real quick. Uh, if you want to just pause right there, <laughs> and you like what you see, like and subscribe. <laughs> we grab the robot over here. You can see it's uh, just the basic robot inventor brick. I've got a uh, motor, uh, two motors on the front attached to wheels, the light sensor, and then on the back just a little ball there for doing the skid steer mechanism. So let's go and look at the code. Uh, I've got a little bit more here than necessary. I, first off, I do set the movement motors to A and B because that's the motors that I have uh, plugged in. I also then say let's start moving straight and then I've got a forever loop here and so uh, inside the forever loop I just have one basic if else command and I say if uh, the color sensor or the light sensor uh, technically it's the, it's the light sensor in reflective mode if the light sensor on port D uh, has a value greater than 39 percent then start moving at 70-30% power. So that's going to send more uh, power to the right motor. Uh, if it's not, so if it's not greater than, so that would be if it's less than or equal to 39, then start moving at 30-70. And there's lots of other ways you can do just a simple line follower. I feel like this one's uh, very straightforward. So a couple things you might ask, how did I get that 39%? Um, you might call it like the threshold value. So what I did is I put the uh, light sensor there uh, right in the middle, right on the edge, uh, half on, half off. And then I uh, went over here with it synced up uh, right now via Bluetooth and I looked to see what is the percent. Now if I look over here at that number, it's, right now it's just showing the color, so if I click on the, uh, the brick and go down to that color sensor and just click on reflect, then I'm uh, actually getting a number 43%. I think when I put it on a little bit earlier, it was uh, 38, 39. So anyway, uh, that value, that 38, 39, 40, maybe it's 25%, whatever it happens to be. The value that you put right there, that's the threshold value. That's the, the value when the robot is uh, half, of, half of it's on the line, half of the light sensor is on, and half of it is off. It's Technically, it's like, what is the edge of the line reading? And then uh, these numbers here, I just chose you know, one number which was significantly larger than the other, uh, 70, 30 in this case. Uh, you, could, you can change those, and I encourage you to do so, uh, to try to get some different performance uh, for your robot. Uh, for instance, if I were to make these a little bit closer, maybe uh, 60 and uh, 50, and then again a 50 and a 60. And then run the program. And that robot doesn't turn enough. So we might have to change those values. Uh, uh, maybe we can make them a little bit more extreme. So maybe 90 and a 10. 10 and a 90, and then let's go ahead and see what happens there. So a little bit more extreme on the turns. All right, so um, one or two more things just to let you know. Uh, in the basic uh, movement code, these right here, the start moving, uh, that's not necessarily, uh, you're not going to see that code there. So the way that you uh, access this code right here is over here on the left hand side, you have the show block extensions and you want to click over here where it says more movement and you want to add that in, in this case I've already added it. And then uh, if you scroll all the way down that's going to, all the way down, that's going to give you some more movement commands. And I, I personally really like 
this uh, start moving at, uh, well, it says 50-50, but whatever happens to be uh, the percentages that you choose to put in there. That's a, that's, a, that's a really good code because it gives you complete control over the direction. I'm, I'm not as much a fan of this start moving because it's not as, it's not as clear uh, how much power is going to each motor, and it's hard to, to fine tune. All right, and also if we uh, switch over here to the Spike Prime uh, environment, you can see this is the exact same code, um, maybe with a slight difference where we say start moving straight, um, but fundamentally the same idea. When the program starts, uh, set your movement motors to whichever movement motors happen to be yours, and then just go ahead and start moving, and then we have a forever uh, loop, follow, and inside that forever loop we have the if and just the same <laughs> same ones here, the the reflection code here, checking, looking at that, and then um, start moving at this percent power um, if you're greater than your threshold and then otherwise if you're less than. Um, again, the same uh, sort of situation is going on in order to access these uh, extra movement blocks. Uh, you have to move your mouse down here to the bottom left side and click on the more movement extension and then that will appear way 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 down here along the left hand side where you've got the more movement blocks. Some great extensions there. I'd encourage you to sort of explore there if you haven't already. Anyway, so this is what the code looks like in the, in the Spike Prime environment. Um, if you like what you saw today, I appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.